the maverick of the Senate. Mm -hmm. President Trump celebrating a big trade victory after reaching a deal with Mexico to replace NAFTA. Once signed, it'll be a major first step toward fulfilling a key campaign promise of renegotiating U.S. trade deals. John Roberts breaks down the new agreement. It was another Oval Office first. President Trump with the president of Mexico on speakerphone to announce a new bilateral trade deal with our neighbor to the south. They used to call it NAFTA. We're going to call it the United States. Mexico trade agreement and we'll get rid of the name NAFTA has a bad connotation because the United States was hurt very badly by NAFTA for many years. Outgoing Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto was as enthusiastic about the deal as President Trump was. He even said he'd like to give President Trump a big hug, though he acknowledged getting to an agreement was tough. I am really grateful, Mr. President, and this has, of course, been a negotiation that has taken months. It's been difficult, complex, and a very hard negotiation altogether with difficult moments, of course. The biggest change in the trade relationship is rules of origin for cars. 75% of components used to build cars must be made in either Mexico or the U.S. 40 to 45% of auto content must be made by workers earning at least $16 an hour. The deal also increases trade in agricultural goods, keeping tariffs at zero. It all puts much more pressure on Canada to now make a deal. Canada was involved in three-way talks with Mexico and the U.S. before President Trump decided to do a one-on-one -on -one with Mexico first. The president is really putting the squeeze on Canada, warning that if the U.S. can't reach a new trade deal with our neighbor to the north, he is prepared to slap significant tariffs on Canadian-made automobiles destined for the United States. At the White House, John Roberts, Fox News. The president really putting the squeeze on Canada, trying to get negotiations with our northern border going. Molly Hemingway, senior editor at The Federalist, says Canada should want to come to the table to reach an agreement. Tune has changed quite a bit from Canada, and this is a profoundly vindicating day for the Trump administration, which has put forth a strategy that a lot of people thought was risky, and they were very worried about it, of uh, putting the squeeze on tariffs, trying to renegotiate a bunch of trade agreements. President Trump obviously prefers bilateral trade agreements over these multinational things that were quite popular for a few decades. But this is a good agreement. I mean, taking one of the things that was mentioned in the, uh, by Ambassador Lighthizer, that 40 to 45 percent of goods going and the automobiles need to be made by people who are making at least $16 an hour. That was, there was no requirement on how much people needed to be paid in Mexico when they were making these parts. That, it, we, we like to call NAFTA a free trade agreement, but it's really a very complex situation and renegotiating some of those rules to be more favorable is a good thing. Earlier this month, President Trump threatened Canada with auto tariffs if the U.S. and Canada cannot forge a deal. All right, tensions flaring between the United States and Iran. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo now vowing a vigorous defense of U.S. sanctions. This after Iran urged the United Nations' highest court to halt the penalties after President Trump pulled out of the 2015 nuclear deal. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani says Tehran will defeat so-called anti-Iranian officials in the White House. Iran says they now have control of the Strait of Hormuz. That's an important oil trade route amid the sanction battle. The UN Security Council is set to discuss the Middle East and Syria today. The Trump administration buckles down on Russia. Another round of U.S. sanctions against the Kremlin just went into effect, this time over a chemical weapons attack back in March. The U.S. blames Russia for poisoning a spy and his daughter, which Moscow denies. This coming as a former Al-Qaeda member turned British spy issues a dire warning about these types of attacks. He tells CBS, quote, the Novichok attack was a big neon sign, an advertisement basically for Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Michael Cohen's lawyer is now backpedaling on claims he made about pre President Trump and Russian meddling. Lanny Davis admitting to being the anonymous source that told CNN his client knew that the president was aware of the infamous Trump Tower meeting with Donald Trump Jr. Claims the president denied. Davis telling Fox News, quote, I take the responsibility for not communicating more clearly my uncertainty. I regret the error. Cohen ple uh, pleaded guilty to fraud charges just last week. President Trump and the First Lady honor evangelical leaders during a dinner at the White House.
We're here this evening to celebrate America's heritage of faith, family, and freedom. As you know, in recent years, the government tried to undermine religious freedom. But the attacks on communities of faith are over. We've ended it. The president pointing to efforts by the administration to secure the release of imprisoned pastors and limit federal funding for abortions. All right, Houston, Texas star J.J. Watt sacking a world record off the field. Watt announcing his foundation has raised $41.6 million in the one year since Hurricane Harvey devastated Texas. It is the largest crowdsourced fundraiser ever. The money already making a huge impact, including cleaning and rebuilding more than 600 homes and distributing more than 26 million meals. Watt says he cannot thank everyone enough for their donations. It's incredible. It's I think they were in for like a couple hundred thousand dollars yep. and they got the 41 mil. Amazing. Yep. All right, it is 10 minutes after the hour. This video will give you goosebumps. A panicked woman ringing doorbells in the dead of the night with shackles on her wrists. The urgent warning from authorities. Jeez. It's like a scary movie. Yeah, it does. Blueprints blocked. A judge banning 3D gun plans online. Why our next guest, a self-defense attorney, says this is about our First Amendment, not the second. People with type 2 diabetes are excited about the potential of once-weekly Ozempic. In a study with Ozempic, a majority of adults lowered their blood sugar and reached an A1C of less than 7 and maintained it. Oh, under 7? And you may lose weight. In the same one-year study, adults lost on average up to 12 pounds. Oh, up to 12 pounds? A two-year study showed that Ozempic does not increase the risk of major cardiovascular events like heart attack, stroke, or death. Oh, no increased risk? Oh, oh. 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 Ozempic should not be the first medicine for treating diabetes or for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not share needles or pens. Don't reuse needles. Do not take Ozempic if you have a personal or family history of medullary thyroid cancer, multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you are allergic to Ozempic. Stop taking Ozempic and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, itching, rash, or trouble breathing. Serious side effects may happen, including pancreatitis. Tell your doctor if you have diabetic retinopathy or vision changes. Taking Ozempic with a sulfonylurea or insulin may increase the risk for low blood sugar. Common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and constipation. Some side effects can lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. I discover the potential with Ozempic. Ask your health care provider if Ozempic is right for you. Let's do an ad of a man eating free waffles at Comfort Inn. They taste like victory because he always gets the lowest price on our rooms guaranteed when he books direct at choicehotels.com. Or just say bada book, bada boom. Book now at choicehotels.com. Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker and is two times more absorbent. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. I'm young. I'm not supposed to have high blood pressure. If you just learned you have high blood pressure or you're already treating it with medication, you can benefit from adding the Zona Plus to your treatment plan. Medication is not the answer all the time for treatment of blood pressure. The Zona Plus therapy is safe and easy to do at home or on the go. Do it while you're watching TV, during breakfast, relaxing, even before a workout. Every once in a while, I remind him, are you doing your zona? And he'll say, yep. Every day. In studies, 90% of people lowered their blood pressure from 10 to 15 points in as few as four to eight weeks. And with the company's fantastic 90-day money-back guarantee, backed by a full refund of the purchase price, there's no risk. You have everything to gain by giving Zona Plus a try for 90 days. Call now at 800-311-6730 or visit us online at ZonaPlus.com.
Good morning to you and welcome back. Polls set to open in just hours as voters decide a couple of key primaries today. In Florida, Trump-backed Congressman Ron DeSantis takes on Adam Putnam in the Republican primary for governor. The president also endorsing current Governor Rick Scott's Senate bid. He's the GOP favorite to take on incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson. A three-way Republican race headlines the Arizona Senate primary to fill the retiring Jeff Flake seat. And President Trump supporting Arizona's incumbent Governor Doug Ducey, who is expected to win his primary. All right, just weeks before the midterms, a federal court is ordering North Carolina to throw out its congressional map. A panel of judges ruling the current version is unconstitutional because it was gerrymandered to help Republicans. The court is yet to decide if it will let lawmakers draw another map, but if they do, it must be agreed upon by September 17th. State Republicans are expected to appeal this ruling. 3D printed guns dealt a major blow after a judge rules that they pose a, quote, unique danger to the public. And now 19 states are suing to make sure that these plans stay offline. So where does this case go from here? Here now to weigh in is attorney with U.S. Law Shield, Emily Taylor. Thank you for joining us this morning. I think one of the big questions, Emily, that a lot of people have is why do we need these? Well, I don't think the issue is so much why do we need them, but why should we be outraged that the government is trying to prevent us from having them? Because at its core, we're not talking about a gun issue here. We're talking about a free speech issue, and we're talking about the government actively trying to curtail the flow of information to the general public. And I don't care if you're pro-gun, anti-gun, or somewhere in between. Every single American should be on the side of Cody Wilson and his company getting to distribute these blueprints. You know, the other side of this, they, they always point to the, the idea that you can't, you know, yell fire in a crowded movie theater, things like that, where free speech is inhibited uh, for the safety of the public. And that'll be, I'm sure, one of the arguments that's made against these 3D guns and these plans put online. What do you say to that? Well, in no other circumstance do we ever talk about information being criminalized and prohibited from the public. The government's position here is, is, it's as simple as it is stupid. What they're saying at its essence is, the distribution of a blueprint is the distribution of a firearm. It's like, if I teach you how to grow marijuana in your closet, it's like the government coming after me and saying that that makes me a drug dealer. Or if I post that instruction online, I'm now potentially an international trafficker of narcotics. Hmm. It's absolutely absurd. So we're not talking about fire in a theater. We're not talking about speech that's inciting violence. We are talking about the flow of information and to debate in America in 2018 whether or not the government is allowed to stop us from having information is an absurd debate. I can't believe we're having it. But also in 2018, especially after, you know, the, gosh, it seems like we're covering school shootings and mass shootings and stuff all the time. I think a lot of people say, you know, the question I asked earlier is, is do we need these? Why do we need these? But also, can't these blueprints easily get into the hands of the wrong people? Then how do we stop that? Well, there are laws, every law that criminalizes possession of firearms by people who shouldn't have them, every law that criminalizes the carrying of firearms into places that are otherwise not allowed, every law that applies to normal firearms applies exactly the same way to these 3D printed guns. The gun control advocates have done an excellent job of controlling this media narrative and making the 3D printed guns into some sort of boogeyman when ultimately they are are uh, probably less dangerous than a traditional firearm because they don't function that well. And you have to, at some point, trust that the laws will be enforced. Murder with a 3D printed firearm is just as illegal as murder with a gun that I can go buy at the store right now. And we just have to simply enforce the laws on the books and they will be enforced in exactly the same way. That's interesting. This is something I, I kind of see both sides yeah. on. Interesting perspective. Emily, thank you so much. We appreciate it. 18 minutes thank after you. the hour, showing respect for the office. He's the president of the United States, and you have to respect the, the, the office. Tiger Woods now getting slammed by an ESPN host for his remarks after a golf tournament. So do you remember when Vladimir Putin rode a horse or when he went fishing? <laughs> Half the time shirtless. <laughs> Wait until you see what he's doing this time. You're one.
one item would be the name your price tool? It helps people save on car insurance. Why wouldn't it save me? Why? What would you bring? A boat. Huh. If you have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis, little things can be a big deal. That's why there's Otesla. Otesla is not an injection or a cream. It's a pill that treats differently. For psoriasis, 75% clearer skin is achievable with reduced redness, thickness, and scaliness of plaques. And for psoriatic arthritis, Otesla is proven to reduce joint swelling, tenderness, and pain. And the Otesla prescribing information has no requirement for routine lab monitoring. Don't use if you're allergic to Otesla. Otesla may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. Tell your doctor if these occur. Otesla is associated with an increased risk of depression. Tell your doctor if you have a history of depression or suicidal thoughts or if these feelings develop. Some people taking Otesla reported weight loss. Your doctor should monitor your weight and may stop treatment. Other side effects include upper respiratory tract infection and headache. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take and if you're pregnant or planning to be. Oh, Tesla, show more of you. Life happens everywhere, like it never even happened, only happens here. The cleanup and restoration specialists at 1-800-SERVPRO and SERVPRO.com. This is Fracture. Just upload an image, place your order, and it'll show up at your door, beautifully printed directly on glass. And this isn't just another frame, not just another canvas. This is new. This is a Fracture. Visit FractureMe.com and print one today. There's so much clutter in your place, you wish you could erase. And the bathroom near the foyer is a mood destroyer. It's all ugly and outdated, it's time you just upgrade it. Now the Baxter bag is here, and this mess will disappear. So you schedule a pickup, it goes off without a hiccup. You're smiling and moving on, and that's the joy, the joy of gone. Get the Baxter bag for your next project. Did you know that one third of Americans are affected by cybercrime? Every time you're online, your private information can be stolen, sold, or exploited. That's why you need NordVPN. Prevent hackers seeing your transaction details, protect your family's online activity, and keep your personal details safe by preventing your information from being tracked online. NordVPN. Protect your family with military-grade encryption on up to six devices from just $5 per month at nordvpn.com slash TV today. He's the president of the United States, and you have to respect the, the, the office. All right, President Trump praising Tiger Woods for telling reporters they must respect the office. The president tweeting the fake news media worked hard to get Tiger Woods to say something that he didn't want to say. Tiger wouldn't play the game. He's very smart. More importantly, he is playing great golf again. But ESPN host Max Kellerman is slamming the pro golfer for his comments. It is a thoughtless statement dressed up as a thoughtful statement. And it either holds in contempt the intelligence of the people who hear it, or else it's just a stupid thing to say. We must respect the office, therefore that confers respect to the occupant. Tiger, is that what you're saying? If that's what you're saying, that is a stupid comment. Okay, Max. This says the president of ESPN claims that the sports or that the network is a sports network and does not want to any longer be associated with politics. That's not a very good start. Roseanne's longtime co-star now defending the comedian after their hit TV reboot was canceled. John Goodman telling the Sunday Times, quote, I'll put it this way. I was surprised at the response, and that's probably all I should say about it. ABC canceled the conservative-themed show despite big ratings after the comic posted a racially insensitive tweet. Goodman went on to say, quote, I know for a fact that she's not a racist. Roseanne thanked him on Twitter. All right, Fox Business Alert, check in a bag, get ready to cough up more cash. Mm, Tracy Crosco from our sister network, Fox Business, here with more on JetBlue's new price hike. Tracy. Good morning. Yes, if you booked a flight yesterday and from here on out, you will now pay $30 uh, for your first check bag. That is up from $25 on JetBlue. Here's the rest of the pricing structure. You're now going to pay $40 for your second check bag. Uh, that is up from $35. And your third piece of luggage, that will be $100. 
$50, $50 more than previously. Uh, JetBlue says that this price rate is to ensure a healthy business. This is something that hopefully other airlines do not follow suit. American, Delta, United, they all charge $25 for your first piece of checked luggage. Ensure a healthy business at a time when airlines are reporting record profits. Hmm. Very healthy Fun. business. Yes, hey, yeah. another healthy business, Starbucks. <laughs> they do pretty good selling cups of coffee for nine dollars. They sure do. Um, <laughs> and they have uh, what? They got the pumpkin spice coming. Oh, back. already? Yeah. It's, it's only good. 94 degrees outside. I need I need something to warm me up. It doesn't <laughs> feel like fall outside, but it is fall at Starbucks officially today. You can get your pumpkin spice latte and other fall favorites. Now, if it seems like it's early to be releasing this, well, it is. But this is not the earliest. Back in 2014, Starbucks, uh, the pumpkin spice latte returned on August 26th, but last year it returned on September 5th, which I think is a little That's more reasonable after Labor Day at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into this whole fall and August. Sitting in the hot sun, drinking yeah. a latte, sweating. It's like turns your stomach. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. <laughs> right. Thanks. We're not very nice as we are. <laughs> All right. We've seen him riding shirtless on horseback, and we've seen him go fishing while on vacation. Look at that. But the Russian president choosing to keep his shirt on this time. That's good. Hiking in really the middle of nowhere, Siberia. This video going viral shows Putin examining plants and riding in a boat. The 65-year-old's top security chiefs joined him on a bit of a nature outing. Hmm. Summer in Russia and Siberia. All right, 26 minutes after the hour, millions in Florida set to head to the polls here in just a few hours. One of the big races, Agriculture Commissioner, which controls that state's gun registration. Up next, meet Matt Caldwell, the candidate who says running on a pro-Second Amendment agenda will help the GOP this fall. For those who are driven by purpose, who are building others instead of just wealth. Giving back and never giving up. TIAA will help you live your definition of success. Whether you have $500 or 5 million. Investing, advice, banking, retirement. TIAA. Start today at TIAA.org. Hey, listen to this. Is there so much noise all around that you can't hear your TV sound? Or do you have to turn it up so loud that everyone screams? Turn it down. What you need is Own Zone Headphones by Sharper Image. The perfect way to hear your TV loud and clear without disturbing anyone else. Own Zone Headphone connects to virtually any maker model. TV in seconds and helps you block out the surrounding sound just by putting them on. You can even control the volume directly from the headphones. Plus, with enhanced digital RF technology, it transmits wirelessly up to 100 feet so you don't have to stay in your seat. Now, you don't have to dread watching TV in bed anymore because you can hear loud and clear. You can enjoy your favorite TV show without disturbing your family. Watch the game with sound so clear you think you're in the stadium or hear every word of your favorite movie like you were at the theater just plug the own zone transmitter into your tv and it wirelessly transmits to your headphones surrounding you with full stereo sound plus they're super soft cushioned and adjustable and because they transmit up to 100 feet you can perfectly hear the game outside while you ride or listen to the tv hands-free as you go through your morning routine you You've seen wireless headphones selling for hundreds of dollars, and they don't even connect to your TV. But now you can get Own Zone headphones by Sharper Image today for the special TV discount price of just $59.99. And they're backed by a 100% risk-free 90-day guarantee. We'll even pay to ship it back. But to really turn up this offer, you can get a second pair. Just pay a separate fee. We'll even ship it to you free. That's right, free shipping you get all this an incredible value call or log on to getownzone.com see a little blood when you brush or floss you may have gum disease and could be on a journey to much worse try periodontex toothpaste it's three times more effective at removing plaque the main cause of bleeding gums leave bleeding gums behind with periodontex toothpaste we honestly think riley north did this today's the five-year anniversary of her family's murder she's back 
Corrupt judges, dirty cops. What do I want? I want justice. Peppermint. Rated R. Good morning, welcome back, and take a look at this. Police now desperately searching for this mystery woman. Surveillance video showing her ringing a doorbell in the middle of the night, partially dressed with what appears to be broken restraints on both of her wrists. Other people in the Montgomery County, Texas community say their doorbells were also wrong. Police say the woman doesn't seem to match any missing persons reports. They're reviewing surveillance footage as they work to identify her. Wow. A mother in the U.S. accused of helping ISIS. Samantha El Hassini from Indiana is accused of helping arm and fund the terrorists and lying to the FBI. Her attorney claims she was tricked by her husband to move to Syria in 2014. He was reportedly killed in a drone strike last year. She is expected to face trial on September 17th. Well, it could take years to learn details about the special counsel's Russia investigation, and it's all because of a decades-old murder case, if you can believe it. Professor Jesus Galindez was believed to be killed after going missing in 1956. An attorney is now looking into that case and asking a, an appeals court judge to release grand jury testimony. That information is typically kept secret. If the court decides not to release the testimony, it could set a precedent for the Mueller case. Evidence presented to the grand jury could be kept under wraps from the public in that case. Wouldn't that be something? Senator Lindsey Graham opening up about the death of his longtime friend, Senator John McCain, the South Carolina Republican vowing to pay tribute to his mentor. I wish we'd had more time, but it is what it is. They fought, and so we're going to look forward. We're going to give him the send-off he deserves. Yes. Uh, I have cried a lot, and I am going to try to get over it, and I'm going to speak tomorrow in the Senate. His desk is right by mine, and I hope I don't crack up. Well, Graham praised McCain for his, quote, romantic view of this country and says he is better off for having known him. A crowded field of five Democratic candidates scrambling to win over voters in today's gubernatorial primary in the state of Florida. Ali Rafa has more on the battle for former Governor Rick Scott's job. This is a premier race, uh, one of the top three races in the whole country, and I think the Democratic primary election will be very close. Former Congresswoman Gwen Graham has held a steady lead over former Miami Beach Mayor Philip Levine, Palm Beach billionaire Jeff Green, Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum, and Orlando businessman Chris King. Each of them has to try to carve out the winning percent, which could be very low. You might secure the nomination with, uh, you know, 30-some percent of, of voters. Fellow frontrunner Levine's outspokenness against President Trump and ability to self-fund his campaign has made him a close second to Graham, who campaigns on her role as a mother and relies on her reputation as daughter to former Florida Senator and Governor Bob Graham. But Democratic strategist Jim Davis says change is needed in the swing state that hasn't seen a Democrat win the governor's mansion since 1994. I happen to think that this is a year where being a woman candidate is an advantage. You can't win with your own party alone. The attention has to be how can I reach the 28 percent of Floridians who aren't registered as a Democrat or Republican. The Democratic nominee will face off against either of the two Republican candidates, Adam Putnam, and Trump-backed Ron DeSantis in November. In Tampa, Florida, Ali Rafa, Fox News. In just a few hours, polls will open in Florida, and one candidate on today's ballot is standing out for sticking to his guns on Second Amendment rights. That candidate, State Representative Matt Caldwell, is running to become the state's next agriculture commissioner, and he joins me live. Thank you for your time this morning. So why do you think that running in this way will help the GOP, and you specifically? Well, absolutely. And, you know, first of all, you've got a state where nearly two million of our residents are concealed weapon permit holders. Uh, it's, it's a constitutional right that they hold dear. And also, you look at Florida, we have a huge population of veterans, people that are comfortable with firearms and understand them and value them. I mean, uh, honestly, this is a fundamental American value. It's a fundamental Floridian value. I've been on the campaign trail now for a year and a half, almost 90,000 miles we've traveled around the state. Uh, and I can vouch for it. As I've talked to voters, 
uh, they feel very strongly about their constitutional rights, their, their right to free speech, their right to worship as they please, and their right to self-defense. And they want to see uh, candidates that are going to stand up and defend that right every single day. And as you mentioned, nearly two million concealed carry permit holders in Florida. But you also look at the last couple of years in Florida and a lot of shootings, you know, to name a couple, Jacksonville, just a couple of days ago, Parkland, Orlando. Uh, you know, there are a lot of people that over the last couple of years are living a life where they're a little bit more afraid right now, where they just don't know how they feel about guns. How do you get them? How do you win them over? Well, these are serious issues, and we need to take them seriously uh, for what they are. You, you look again in Jacksonville, another tragedy, but uh, two commonalities. You have an individual who was suffering from mental illness, uh, and you have a place that was tagged a gun-free zone where no one was allowed to defend themselves or protect themselves. And when you look over and over and over again, it was the same uh, pattern in Parkland. Uh, you have individuals that have diagnosed serious mental illness problems. Uh, we need to address that. And then we need to get honest with ourselves. You, you look around this country when you have uh, tragedies like this, they almost all, almost to 100%, happen in these tagged gun-free zones where uh, you tell people that uh, have malicious intent that no one here can defend themselves. And so, you know, there are those who are going to look at it and say, well, well, the gun's the commonality. Uh, that's just unfair. You know, when, when a Muslim terrorist attacks somewhere in the world, we all understand not all Muslims are to blame. And that's what you hear from the left particularly, that we need to be thoughtful and understanding. I just don't understand why the reaction is when a, when a person who's diagnosed mentally ill uses a gun to commit a crime, all gun owners suddenly have to be the ones that are blamed and victimized, particularly when this is a fundamental constitutional right that we hold dear. So if you are elected to this role, what's, uh, what do you want to accomplish? Well, it is an enormous responsibility. Agriculture Commissioner in Florida not only oversees the most diverse ag profile in the nation, but uh, all the blue-collar jobs, oil changes and gas pumps and uh, security guards, amusement parks. It, it's very critical that you have somebody that's going to focus on small business. We're also a growing state uh, with some of the great opportunities, but also challenges that come with that. So water policy, particularly those that have followed uh, the challenges we have on uh, water quality, that's been my passion for the last eight years in the House. And you're going to see that be a high priority while we're, uh, while we're there in this office. We will be watching to see how this plays out. Matt Caldwell, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. 36 minutes after the hour, it's been the left's rallying cry for months now. Get rid of it, start over, reimagine it. We can replace it, and we can replace it with a humane agency. But it, but it turns out their voters don't agree with the abolish ICE message. Some new poll numbers just released. An NFL star on and off the field. Jacksonville Jaguars' Blake Bortles delivers meals to officers working the game tournament shooting. That's not all he did, though. We're going to tell you about it. You and me ain't that America. As King Midas, I get special treatment. Here, you will too. Your oil change comes with a tire rotation as well. Ooh, I could put that on an airplane banner. Our 1999 oil change also includes a tire rotation. Book an appointment online. Okay, we need to get all your school supplies today. School, grade, done. Done. Hit the snooze button and get low prices on school supplies all summer long, like this case of paper for only $29.99 at Office Depot Office Max. Buy a Galaxy Note 9 and get one free. Available at AT&T. Some believe if it's not German, it's not luxury performance. So we brought these Infiniti SUVs to Germany with American families to drive them. This track is only for German luxury auto. Not for family or SUV. VC Turbo is like two engines in one. How did Germany not do that first? Keine Kinder auf der Strecke. The Infiniti family of SUVs. There's nothing traditional about it. Finance the Infinity QX50 at 0.9% APR for 60 months. Infinity. Empower the drive. I'm a fighter. Always have been. 
When I found out I had age-related macular degeneration, AMD, I wanted to fight back. My doctor and I came up with a plan. It includes Preservision. Only Preservision AREDS 2 has the exact nutrient formula recommended by the National Eye Institute to help reduce the risk of progression of moderate to advanced AMD. That's why I fight. Because it's my vision. Preservision. Also in a great tasting chewable. Olay Deep Hydrating Eye Gel breaks through the competition. Olay Eyes with B3 Complex hydrates better than $100, $200, even $400 eye creams. That's something to see. Olay. Your insurance rates skyrocket after a scratch so small you could fix it with a pen. How about using that pen to sign up for new insurance instead? For drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise their rates because of their first accident. Liberty, 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 Liberty. We believe in rock and roll. We believe in blasting it down the fairway, turning up the heat and the fun. At Dell Webb, we believe in life well led, in your own beautiful, smartly designed home, in an active adult community with sushi eaters, artists, thrill seekers, and you. We believe you'll like it here. From Lane to now Miriam, another tropical storm brewing in the Pacific Ocean. Forecasters predicting the storm could strengthen to a hurricane in just hours. This as people begin to assess the damage left from tropical storm Lane, torrential rains, flooding homes and completely washing out roadways. The storm causing the most damage where rivers raged near Hilo. Lane now ranks as the second largest rainmaker from a cyclone in the U.S. since 1950. Senior meteorologist Janice Dean is tracking this storm. Uh-oh. Okay, so this one is not going to move close to Hawaii. That's okay. the good. But Lane is still bringing the potential for more rain across Hawaii. So this is Tropical Storm Mir Miriam. We do expect it to become a hurricane, but it will be well east of the islands. But take a look at the rain from what's left of Lane still uh, plaguing parts of the islands here. And again, you mentioned uh, incredible amounts of rain from this hurricane, and we're still going to see the potential for showers and thunderstorms in the area over the next 24 to 48 hours. The other big story is the heat, my friends, across the Northeast with the heat index. Ooh. I mean, incredible. It's going to feel like 100 here in New York, 104 in Boston. So heat advisories posted from D.C. all the way up to Portland, Maine today. That's going to continue tomorrow. And Thursday, we do have a cold front, but it's kind of hangering around the Midwest and the Great Lakes. We had reports of wind, dozens of reports of wind and a report of tornado yesterday. And the threat continues today across the same area the Great Lakes, the Midwest. Uh, so keep that in mind. Large hail, damaging winds, isolated tornadoes. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to watch the potential for heat. But you know what? First official snowfall in the northern Rockies yesterday. Oh, great. What? So it's coming. The winter <laughs> will come. Enjoy uh, what's left of the that summer. That is so crazy that it, it crazy. already is snowing in yes. the mountains. Yes. Yes. It's going to be 100 degrees here <laughs> it's today. It's so hot. Yeah. Wow. So then we're going to show all of the anchors that were complaining about the heat yes. yep. when it's the first snowfall. I know, yeah. I know. And then we're going to complain. Can we about put that snow? together right now, producers? We can. We can. <laughs> it's fair. Thank you so much. You got it. <laughs> All right, so Blake Bortles showing his appreciation for the brave officers who responded to the deadly shooting in a Jacksonville video game tournament. The Jaguars quarterback is sending a handwritten note to thank them for their hard work, while members of his foundation gave them meals, which he paid for. His foundation tweeting in part, quote, it's the bravery and courage that's unanimously displayed for our community that we value the most. Well, the NFL and its players remain torn over the league's national anthem policy. Despite ongoing talks, the two sides still have no solution, and there's no sign of one with the regular season now less than two weeks away. Can you believe that? Last May, the league announced that anybody protesting on the field would be fine, but gave in to a grievance by the Players Association, so we may be dealing with this story for a while. Both Disney is the happiest place on earth, then this is the hoppiest. You can now vacation inside of a brewery. Brew Dog officially opening the doors to its craft beer hotel, the Dog House in Ohio. Each room is decked out with a fully stocked beer fridge and a personal keg bar. <laughs> and there's a built-in fridge in the shower stocked with even more beer, the shower beer. I love that. The brewery says more than 500 nights have already been booked. 
It's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Iran and Syria teaming up in a new military cooperation deal. So what does this mean for the U.S. and, of course, our allies in the region, especially Israel? Morgan Ortegas calls uh, the two joining the same team a nightmare, and she's going to join us live next to explain why. Heartburn and gas? Now, fight both fast. New Tums Chewy Bites with Gas Relief. All in one relief of heartburn and gas. New Tums Chewy Bites with Gas Relief. Fire! You're still here. We're Voya. We stay with you to and through retirement. I get that Voya's with me through retirement. I'm just surprised it means in my kitchen. So that means no breakfast? Voya, helping you to and through retirement. I'm worried I can't find a safe used car. You could start your search at the all-new Carfax.com. That might help. Show me the Carfax. Now the car you want and the history you need are easy to find. Show me used minivans with no reported accidents. Boom. Love it. Huh. <sighs> Show me the Carfax. Start your used car search and get free Carfax reports at the all-new Carfax.com. Prusor's closed-door testimony. Inside the question over Trump targeting and what they could reveal. Jim Jordan breaks down the case with Shannon tonight on Fox News at Night. Attention oxygen therapy users. If you've been chained to an oxygen tank, then you know they're a burden. Tanks keep you from living the life you love. I was on oxygen tanks, and I couldn't go anywhere, do much of anything. I didn't dare go far. It's time to reclaim your independence with an image in one oxygen concentrator. Inogen makes its own oxygen from the air around you, so you'll never worry about running out of oxygen again. I wasn't going to run out of oxygen ever, and it was like freedom. I got my life back. I really love my Inogen. The Inogen 1 G4 is lightweight and compact. Plus, it's battery operated, so you can have oxygen anytime, anywhere. Oh, do I think Inogen is worth the money. You better believe it's worth every single penny of it. Call now for your free information kit. There's no obligation. Inogen. Oxygen anytime, anywhere. Call 1-800-513-5769. That's 1-800-513-5769. Call now for your free information kit. We all feel pressure. But it's how we respond that matters. 911, what is your emergency? Earthquake! Get out of there, guys! Oh my god. Nine one one two night premiere event September twenty third on Fox. When you're treating exotic animals, you have to be ready for anything. Okay, got me with this tusk. That's the way to start the day. She's stuck and I don't know how to get her out. Oh, bless it! I wish all of our patients were naked. That feels so much better. For Dr. K and her staff, saving lives is all in a day's work. Dr. K's Exotic Animal ER. New season Sunday, September 9th at 9 on Nat Geo Wild. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Ducey. 12 minutes from now here on the channel with Fox and Friends, we're going to have a great lineup of guests. He is running for governor of the great state of Florida. Representative Ron DeSantis is going to be dropping by. We're going to talk a little bit about the grilling. Bruce Orr is going to get up on the hill. Senator Lindsey Graham is going to talk about his friend, uh, the now late Senator John McCain. Jim Brown is going to be reacting to some comments from an ESPN host regarding what Tiger Woods said a couple of days ago. Larry Kudlow on NAFTA and Dana Lash was threatened on Twitter that her children would be killed, and Twitter said, you know what, that's okay. What's that about? We're going to talk to Dana about that and the comments from Twitter before they finally took the comments on. So we've got a busy three hours. Rob Schmidt kicking off 11 <laughs> minutes from right now, right here on the channel. It sounds like an action-packed show, Steve. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. All right, sealing the deal. Iran and Syria meeting face-to-face, -face, signing an agreement to rebuild Syria's military. The announcement coming as President Trump toughens his stance on Iran's support 
for Bashar al-Assad's government. So what does this mean for the U.S. and, of course, our allies in the region, specifically Israel? Here now is former State Department press officer Morgan Ortega. Morgan, thanks for coming on Good this morning. morning. Good morning to you. Uh, obviously, this uh, creates some unease uh, here in the United States. You don't want these two countries buddying up, uh, and I'm sure Iran has a lot of interest in Syria. What did you take from this? Well, Rob, I'm going to try to take one of the most complicated international relations issues out there right now and talk about it over the next 60 seconds. Yeah. But let's let, let's just put it this way. So anyone who's been paying to uh, Syria, paying attention to Syria for the past seven years, knows that Iran has been an influence there uh, uh, during the civil war. And what Iran uses Syria for is a base for all of their other illicit activity throughout the region, right? So they're destabilizing Yemen near Saudi Arabia and the Houthis. Yep. They're funding Hezbollah. Uh, they are using Syria as a way to um, to to get closer to Israel and, and sort of antagonize Israel. Sure. So this this uh, cooperation, although it's been going on for quite some time, but this meeting is bad for Israel, it's bad for the U.S., and it's bad for our Sunni allies in the region. And I think what we need to be looking to, which I'm most concerned about, which, um, uh, which I believe Ambassador Bolton said to the Russians last week when he met with them, is that there should be no more chemical attacks. And there's a lot of concern right now out there in the, in, in the national security community, those of us who watch this, that the uh, Iranians or Russians will try some sort of chemical attack in Syria, um, in northwest Syria, where this is the yeah. last hold of occupation control. Mm. Um, for, excuse me, last control of, uh, of, the, uh, of the rebels. Of the rebels, yeah. And, and it, it's just, it, I find it hilarious that Iran goes to the U.N. and complains about these yeah. sanctions and tries to sue yep. uh, the U.S. and the U.N. to try and get these sanctions and, and removed. And then they behave like this. I mean, and, and to me, how does the EU continue to support this agreement? Their behavior is ridiculous, and they show no sign of stopping or improving. You're absolutely right, Rob. And what I would say is that the the administration has put forward a really comprehensive strategy to counter Iran uh, in the region, in the Middle yeah. East. But that strategy is meaningless if we just let Syria go. So while I understand the compulsion to, to not want to have a military presence in Syria and in the Middle East, um, what we saw, what happened in Iraq after President Obama came in office and got rid of our troops, yeah. right? Al Qaeda, ISIS uh, formed, you know, came came up after that. And so, if we do the same thing in Syria, if we leave, if we allow them to attack and use chemical weapons again, and and then we did last April, of course, counter them, and we, sure. we did, you know, return yeah, uh, fire whenever they did that. In, right? But yeah. but if we if if we do that, if we just leave, we'll be repeating the same mistakes that the Obama administration made. Right. So I think in, in in order to have and implement this incredibly robust countering Iran strategy that this administration has put forward, we're going to have to continue to pay close attention to what happens um, in Syria. I could probably go on for another 10 yeah, minutes no, I know. <laughs> about, and it's, it's about Russian and, influence there of the Iranians and, and what's going on. And that's on. what I just yeah. want to ask. I mean, what, what Russia does is also yeah. a problem, sure. and you don't want Russia linking up with Iran. And then you also have Turkey, which has been a, yes. a NATO ally and has been a friend of the United States for many years, kind of going down this path towards this group, too. And it's almost like you could kind of see this evil alliance forming between yeah. these four countries. And with Russia there, it's a powerful alliance. It is, but I will say that the Russian propaganda is very powerful. Yeah. I don't think that they control the Iranians in Syria as much as they'd like the rest of the world, you know, to think that they do. Right. Remember that the Russians, you know, the economy is not fantastic, and they are losing a ton of money. We've been sort of we're bleeding them dry them. in Syria. Actually, we're, we're sanctioning them. Yeah. We're sanctioning the the Iranians. So I think that you know the Russians love their influence to be overblown and overplayed, whether it's here or whether it's in Syria. There's certainly a factor, but again, I think that main thing to watch for is you know. Is there some sort of chemical weapons attack by the Assad regime? Uh, th the minute that Bolton uh, spoke to the Russians right. about it last week, the Russians started a propaganda campaign saying that the U.S. and the U.K. were going yeah. to, you know, create a fake chemical right. attack. So the propaganda, of course, is out there in, in the Middle East. But you know, the point being is that this is a really bad part of the world. I often talk about on Fox and on Fox and Friends about how we need to be looking to China and how we need to think about that as the real great threat. But saying that, we can we can walk and chew gum. Right. Yeah. We can pay attention a, to these a, threats in the Middle East. There's a lot of complicated problems that it need is. to be solved. There's you you know, are. you just need to give me the whole hour to talk about it. <laughs> we'll try to do that next time. Morgan, thank you so Thanks. much. We appreciate it. Good having to you see on. you. All right, Jillian, over to you. All right, good stuff, guys. It turns out all those calls to abolish ICE are coming from a vocal minority. It is. Abolish ICE! Abolish ICE! Get rid of it. Start over. Reimagine it. We can replace it. And we can replace it with a humane agency. 
A new Associated Press poll finding only 24% of Americans actually support the movement, 41% oppose it. The AP says those numbers are nearly identical when polled along party lines, meaning only about a quarter of all Democrats are actually in favor of abolishing ICE. Democrats in boxes flooded with the same message as party leaders ask for cash. In a fundraising email, Senator Elizabeth Warren says President Trump has, quote, ripped children from their mama's arms at our border. Meantime, in another fundraising email, Hillary Clinton says President Trump, quote, locks kids in cages. According to the Homeland Security, nearly 2,000 children have been reunited with their parents since the July deadline. Some parents have been found to be unsuitable after failing background checks. Six minutes until the top of the hour. If the world was ending, who would you save? Parents outraged that their kids were asked that question on a homework assignment. A safe space for people who want to get high? The proposal that's fueling flames. When we come back. We've been making blades here at Gillette for 20 years. There's a lot of innovation that goes into making America's number one shave. Precision machinery and high quality materials from around the world. Nobody else even comes close. Now starting at $7.99. Gillette, the best a man can get. If you have psoriasis, little things can be a big deal. That's why there's Otesla. Otesla is not a cream. It's a pill that treats moderate to severe plaque psoriasis differently. With Otesla, 75% clearer skin is achievable. Don't use if you're allergic to Otesla. It may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. Otesla is associated with an increased risk of depression. Tell your doctor if you have a history of depression or suicidal thoughts or if these feelings develop. Some people taking Otesla reported weight loss. Your doctor should monitor your weight and may stop treatment. Upper respiratory tract infection and headache may occur. Tell your doctor about your medicines and if you're pregnant or planning to be. Otesla, show more of you. I'm young. I'm not supposed to have high blood pressure. If you just learned you have high blood pressure or you're already treating it with medication, you can benefit from adding the Zona Plus to your treatment plan. Medication is not the answer all the time for treatment of blood pressure. The Zona Plus therapy is safe and easy to do at home or on the go. Each daily treatment takes only 12 minutes. Do it while you're watching TV, during breakfast, relaxing, even before a workout. I started using the Zona and within the first two weeks I was noticing a big difference. It was very exciting. I've been using it now for about a year and a half and I absolutely love it. The Zona Plus is a drug-free, software-controlled, handheld device that's clinically proven to help lower blood pressure. If you are not a fan of prescriptions, the idea of using a non-invasive medical device seems like a great alternative. The science behind the Zona Plus is based on an isometric technology which was initially developed by a respected cardiopulmonary physiologist. The same technology evolved into the patented Zona Plus therapy. Every once in a while I remind him, are you doing your Zona? And he'll say, yep. Every day. Neither of us take any medication no. for blood pressure anymore. No. It's, it's all done. In studies, 90% of people lowered their blood pressure from 10 to 15 points in as few as four to eight weeks. I'm the type of person that needs to be in control of my life. And the Zona Plus gives me that opportunity to be in control of my blood pressure. And that is such an empowering feeling. 